This program is brought to you by Emory University. I wasn't surprised by the decision, but I was a little bit surprised by how uh, the fact that it wasn't very close, eight to one, with Justice Alito being the only dissenter. They complied with all the police directives. They were nonviolent. They didn't shout directly at the Snyders. Um, based on all these circumstances, the court says uh, they, it's, it's unconstitutional to hold them liable under this cause of action, this intentional infliction of emotional distress. But the court doesn't decide whether some other behavior that's, uh, that doesn't fit those circumstances, would, it, whether it would be constitutional to, um, to sue them un, you know, under those circumstances. And so the effects are unclear. It, it involves a California civil statute that is trying to regulate the sale of violent video games, uh, the most violent video games, to minors. So this statute is, is vague in the sense that we don't know what, is, what counts as deviant violence for minors. And a lot of the discussion at oral argument um, seem to revolve around this, this problem. I think the court will hold that the statute violates the First Amendment. So I think it will uphold the decision of the Ninth Circuit below, saying that the statute is unconstitutional. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.